Most people in America are quite familiar with the faith of America. The faith of America is what usually people utilize when they find out they're ill. The faith of your life is whatever you believe in. The faith of your life might just be a philosophy, an orientation, a good book that you like. But for most of Americans, we recognize that when people, the pilgrims, came to America, they came in the pursuit of God, and they came to be able to practice their faith however they chose. We openly know that the Constitution has that construct of the Lord written in it, but we also know that the Bill of Rights, the amendments to our Constitution, has the First Amendment which says we have freedom of religion. Under the guise of freedom of religion, there are many religions in America at this time, most of which are sort of mainline mainstream. There are, of course, some esoteric branches which the Lord is not pleased with in terms of people dancing around with animals, which is not appropriate to the Lord's house. Not only is it stupid with regard to God and what he brought those animals into the world for, but is foolish in terms of people's health care and other methods. That's not what I'm going to say. I'm not going to say any more. What I can tell you with regard to my faith practice and others is that many people who are not pursuing God in the typical, traditional, church-oriented environment, or synagogue if you're Jewish or whatnot, or center if you're practicing Kabbalah, look elsewhere for the Lord. They have a spirituality of sorts, and they're trying to find their way to their soul by doing a lot of reading from all kinds of works, from the, both the, ha the past and of today, and they're also using a lot of different tools in order to capture their faith and capture what they know true in their soul, that not only is there a Lord God above all things and all creatures, great and small, but there's also a Holy Ghost network that flows around it all. So when I use a tool myself, whether it be Taroki, which I don't particularly care for the images on for the traditional version, but I do have quite a few oracle cards that are offshoots of that concept that really speak to my soul, like an oriental set or an angel set or an eclectic set of uh, fairies and whatnot that sort of speak to the mythology of my life and the films that I adore. But that's not the point. When I utilize those cards, they fill my soul with love and they fill my soul with an appreciation for God because they're always right for me. The way that I was trained to do that was simple and that I watched a master artist, a master craftsman, a master dole out a whole bunch of decks to do a beautiful reading for someone like me and I paid for that and I paid for it a few times but that's not the point. The point is that from that experience I learned my own version of that faith. Now when it comes to my actual tool of mastery that is my true tool of mastery. I've written a book on it I've written some workshops on it, I've delivered those workshops on it, and I am a master at it. My friend uh, Claudia calls me the Pendulum Professor, and only recently has the Lord allowed me to use that title that she gifted me. At the same time, I am known as a Pendulum Master, and I am proficient in Pendulum practice. I know how to teach it, I know how to share it, but here's what I can tell you about preaching about it, is that a lot of people are terrified of the Holy Ghost. What a foolish place to be. You proclaim that you have this love of God. You proclaim that you read the Bible. You proclaim that you have the New G King James Version or whatever. And I look at you and go, what did you miss? I think you missed some chapters if you don't get this. But that's just my humble opinion, right? That's my take on the book. And yet all churches around America talk about the Trinity, but they really just spend all their time talking about God. And what did the Lord say that he would leave with us an advocate which is why in my business work, God gave me and delivered to me the name a long time ago, along the time that my friend, my beautiful friend Claudia, who helps me with my spirituality, and she's smarter than me, wiser than me, been at it longer than me, and been gifted since childhood, unlike me, who wasn't like that. And she has a very unique gift compared to all the other gifts and all the other clairs that are out there and all the gifts of the Lord and all the gifts of the Spirit and all the gifts of the soul. It's a very unique thing she has from God. But she's still wiser in a lot of ways than me. But we're just different, and that's not odd. My point that I'm approaching is that the tools that we utilize help draw us closer to the Lord's wishes for us. And openly we can do that. 